Hi, I'm Phil with SouthernFrugal.com. Well, today at lunch we had rice, and I always fix double the amount so we can have it maybe the next day or the day after that. But today I decided I'm going to make rice pudding with what's left over. And I think that's about two cups, maybe two and a half cups of cooked rice. Now, I don't put salt in my rice when I'm cooking it. I put it in after it's already cooked and we're going to eat it. But uh, anyway, we're going to use that probably two, two and a half cups of rice. Let me turn this down. I have melted four tablespoons of butter in my little Pyrex dish, and I'm also using that to grease the dish. Three large eggs. And I'm using one third of a cup of sugar. I'm just going to dump that in. A teaspoon of salt, because remember the rice is not salted. And I'm also going to use some ground nutmeg. Can y'all see that? Yeah, ground nutmeg. I'm not really measuring that. Putting in it's maybe less than a half a teaspoon for sure maybe about a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I'm using pure vanilla extract. I'm going to use a teaspoon of that. Right in there. And now I'm just going to mix the sugar and the eggs all together. Just a whisk is okay. Just to get that sugar kind of mixed in real good. And you could certainly use a mixer for this, but I just don't want to get my mixer out. Too much trouble. Alright, so we've got that mixed up enough. Now, I'm using one cup of raisins that have been soaking. So what I do is put a cup of raisins in. This is a two cup measure and then just put the water up over them, put them in the microwave for about a minute and a half, and then let them cool. So I'm going to dump this water out. I'll be right back. So now the raisins are pretty soft now. See, I use golden raisins. But you could use the other kind too, whatever you like. And so now, I really want to be able to sweeten this with dates. So this is five of those Medjool dates from California. They're the big fat dates. So I'm just going to snip them up with my scissors into little small pieces. And um, of course dates have got 17 vitamins and minerals. So I'm trying to make the uh, rice pudding a little healthier, maybe. So I'm just clipping those up. And I like it well, when I'm eating rice pudding to, you know, have a surprise like, ooh, there's a raisin or, ooh, there's a little piece of date. Just makes it fun. And it uses up the uh, leftover rice too. And usually we have, a, have it in a meal, but every once in a while I go ahead and fix the rice pudding. And I especially like uh, the nutmeg mixed with the vanilla and it makes it taste really, really good. And some people use cinnamon, which would be fine. All right, so we got all this kind of like chop them up a little bit more. Make them in little smaller pieces. All right. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to put in this is going to be a sweet potato. Now this has got a few bad places on it and I want to use this up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and peel it and I'll shred it up in my food processor. Now this is a... there goes the telephone. Hold on. Alright, I'm back y'all. It was a wrong number. Anyway, uh, I went ahead and shredded up the uh, sweet potato. Now this uh, new food processor I do not like y'all. It was the only one Walmart had, and uh, I, I needed a food processor. The other one just was not doing the job. It just was so old. 
But anyway, I'm not going to put this on my website because I would not recommend it. I don't like it at all, but it was cheap and it was the only one Walmart had. The main thing I don't like about it, first of all, it's really cheap, but uh, it's got those suction cup feet on it and that, that's really kind of your first clue because it's not heavy enough and I would imagine if it didn't have those on it, it'd kind of be walking all over the counter, but anyway, and I didn't like the job that it did on the See why I don't like it? It's just got all these little plastic rinky-dink things. See, I've got sweet potato up at the top there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and use this in the rice pudding. I'd say that's probably a good cup. And that oh, sweet potato did have a lot of bad places on it, and I wanted to get rid of it, so this will work. All right, so we've got everything mixed up here, and we've got our ingredients. So what I'm going to do is just mix this together in the pot. I'm going to break that rice up a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of whole milk to my egg and sugar and spice mixture. Just kind of swish that up a little bit. You don't have to mix it real thoroughly. And again, I did put salt in this because I, I, there is no salt in the rice. So just mix that in. This right into the rice like that. And I'm also going to pour this butter into the rice, but I want to turn it, you know, let some of it get around the edges of this little Pyrex dish. And by the way, I've got my oven preheating to 325 degrees, and this is probably going to. Well, I'm going to check it at 45 minutes. Let me get that butter out of there. And you want to make sure you leave some butter in because that bottom part of the rice pudding is what is really good. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and dump those dates in, those little snipped pieces. And go ahead and dump the uh, raisins in. I always pick out the bad ones. Sort of check on it. All right, so we're ready to mix that in. Now these sweet potatoes, of course, are shredded, so they'll cook up pretty quick with the rice pudding. It did shred them pretty good, but this thing is just way too light, in my opinion, to sit on the counter without the suction cups when it's running. All right, so we're just going to stir this up. Make sure all that rice is kind of broken up. And there's going to be some moisture, of course, in this uh, sweet, shredded sweet potatoes, too. So still, I think I'm going to add just a little more milk. Yeah, maybe about a third of a cup more about right because I want the milk you know to be on top I don't want the raisins and all that to be sticking out and then get hard on the top well a little more so we've ended up using a cup and a half to a cup and three-fourths of whole milk in this Now I'm going to put the ingredients that I use down below this video. Anyway, we're going to dump that in. And it doesn't matter what size uh, container you use. You could, you could make this in a cake pan if you wanted to. I've actually made uh, rice pudding in a loaf pan before. Anyway, and there it is. So, we're going to uh, go ahead and bake this probably 45 minutes is my guess. 
since I've never made it with the sweet potatoes before, so we'll just see when it gets done, and when it does, we'll be back. All right, we just took the rice pudding out of the oven, and I did uh, let it cook at 325 for 45 minutes, and it wasn't quite done in the middle, so I stirred it, you know, with just with the spoon, kind of stirred it around and got that center part mixed in with the rest of it. Cooked it another 15 minutes, and the toothpick inserted comes out clean. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this in a bowl, because I am hungry. Mr. Bucky said he wasn't hungry and he doesn't want any. Not right now. There's what it looks like. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now.